Hello everyone and welcome to Werven's World and welcome to my let's play of the Warmongering Unfallen. So we are going quite well. We just have to finish this siege here, which might still take a bit because they have a ton of people there. Um, yeah, and I only do minus 40 every turn, so it's going to take ages like this. So I really need to have another army there, which is on its way. Um, and actually it will go quite quickly at some point. It will take six turns still, because here we have all these jumping points, so that's quite nice. So then, um, yeah, it will take a while before this thing is completely kind of up to speed. We could study these ruins and hopefully they're good. That would be nice. And that's kind of it. No, it is not it. It's Trihem that still has to do something. Yeah, well, what do we do with this? They need food, but they don't really need food. Uh, I could colonize this and then we get some extra money as well as science, actually. Wow, 1414. Huh. They changed the planets because normally they only had one of each. So, or uh, one of these. Now they seem to have two. So maybe the ones in the middle, because there were two identical ones. So maybe they split that up now. Interesting. Cool. Well, let us do this. Uh, the subterranean anomaly in this gas planet. Totally makes sense. Um, although it might make sense. I guess some gas planets have a solid core. They must have a solid core. So... Amianthoid. Is this new? I don't think I've seen this resource. Hmm. And we found more Amianthoid. And we found advanced monohull plating. Ooh. Very cool. Vervin Unfallen is set to win the quest in four turns, so I'll have the planet that makes the most production from that quest. We've created two trade companies and we get a thousand dust for it. The Horatio are a bit sad. Then we... Oh yeah, now we've got non-fallen population. So we get a center of light and life. So we can get a lot of science, which is nice. Um, technology, civilization, history. We are unused to seeing and learning so much. To absorbing this quantity of information or data as some will call it. Events, discoveries, and artifacts fall upon us like torrential rain. It is all we can do to not be swept away. The heart beats more strongly now, as though driven by our concern. New knowledge is absorbed as quickly as it can be, and when it is too great or too complex, it drains like water into our subconscious and is captured there by the heart, biding its time to resurface and be integrated and understood at a pace more natural to the rhythms of the unfallen. Maintaining our reason and equilibrium becomes more and more difficult, but the unfallen are nothing if not hardy and resolute. Still, the new knowledge brings a challenge we had not considered, one that digs at the corners of our society. Do we grow, change and evolve, or do we fall back upon the ways which we know and ride out the turmoil? Is the chaos of the galaxy simply a new analogy for fire? And if so, is it the fire that renews or the fire that destroys? It would be good if we could discover these answers before this fire becomes too powerful for our control. It does not escape us that the analogies we are uh, we use are flood and fire, agents of cataclysm. Revolution. Curiosity burns, but it is a renewing fire. Study and investigate new ways, for if we do not, the next fire that burns, the galaxy will not be the one that renews. We can all stick to our tradition, which we will, will not do. We will get a lot of cool stuff from it, though. Much better than his influence for us. But for all playing reasons, I want to have a revolution. Let's do it. Oh, they want to have a truce with us. Very nice. Give us some manpower. No thanks. Okay. Mm, where is this? Haha. You guys are still alive. Um, what do you have? Yeah, you're probably going to destroy my vine ships because I didn't upgrade them at all. So I guess we'll have to retreat, unfortunately. Mm. Although we do completely protect against... Let's, let's risk them not dying. Or at least one of them not dying. 
It's a draw, they didn't die. Perfect. Enemy detected by flaming embers. Oh yeah. Mm, that's not good. Not good at all. But it's an explorer ship, so that's quite okay. Um, I could upgrade our questioner to see if we can give it some cool stuff. Mm. Oh. You still need, of course, your curiosity thingy because you're an explorer, but then you can have... Mm, yeah, this. Let's upgrade this one. We could immediately attack. 39, 1 to 1. 1767. Let's do it. The Battle of the Explorers. Nice. Let's turtle. They've already been in some kind of fight, it seems. Here we go. Perfect. All right. Wow. We've done a lot. We've studied stuff. We've terraformed. We made a trade company. So now we should actually make a subsidiary somewhere um so but urza is not doing anything at the moment so what should we do here um i'm inclined to terraform really would give us much more population slots would give us less science definitely which is a bit of a shame um because here we actually have made that... Uh, oh, no, wait, we can make the trade clearing bro. That's true. I completely forgot about that. Um, it takes 14 turns to make, though. Um, what if we do this first? And then this one. So then we have some more production, which would be nice to have. Um, where should we make our subsidiary, though? Because we've got this here. So I guess if we make it... Maybe actually at half. It will probably be quite expensive to buy out. 3.2k. Hmm. Is that too... Is that too much? Because I could also like put it there somewhere. Um, it's not really doing much, I guess. 0 0.5, 0 0.8. Ooh, this one, Adana is worth a lot. But of course I already have something there. And that's also why it's worth a lot. Uh, this is worth more than, than these here. So I'm inclined to make it here. But then the question is whether I want to buy it out or not. And I'm not entirely sure about that yet. So I think I'll wait for that. Where are is my army coming here? You guys are way too slow. Let's kill these pirates first. I don't like them. Hmm... New luxury resource. More people. Population lost because people are so unhappy. There's still Lumeris though, it seems like. Where are you guys going? That way. Um. Let's wait for them. I wonder where they are. Well, let's see. This one doesn't know what to do. Well, you also don't really have to do much anymore. I think we're kind of done exploring except for there. Let's see what's there. This one's still going strong. Lots of cool systems, but I'm not that interested in getting new systems at the moment. Because I hope to get that one. Ooh, and maybe even that one bird is there. Um, although there are, of course, pretty cool systems around, like this Ugaro as well. Um, it's got large, large, medium, medium, small might actually be worth getting less happiness more food this mediterranean that's this one isn't it in one turn next turn we'll immediately have it 
And then we can actually take this. I think I'll do that. Uh, and then we should actually send this one here in order to do those anomalies. Hardened alloy, so we have more command points and another weapon module, which I don't care about much at the moment. Then we have the ultra tough materials. But we also had this rare earth foam, so that's good, because then we can immediately colonize this Mediterranean one. Then we'll have a lot of food to uh, kind of increase our population quite quickly, which would be nice. Um, so let us buy out some stuff. Mm, let's do this and this. Sustainable farms per planet, per hot, per cold. Per hot is very nice here. So let's do that. Uh, won't buy it out yet. Oh yeah, we can cancel the negative effects of this anomaly. Ooh, that's very hard to do though. Aggression engineering against this hostile fauna. Um, let's wait for that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm really hoping our army will arrive soon, but... Yeah, this will... Waiting for this one here. And then, yeah, I'm really one. I really wonder where those <laughs> other Lumeras are. They must be somewhere there. But we've entwined Tikal, so let's go for Talitha, or should we go immediately for Pixis, or for this one here? This anomaly. Let's go for that. Much nicer. Then we've got the Invader of Worlds. Be the best first to invade seven systems. Well, we're almost done with that. Um, we've got Fajis. Mm. What to do at Fajis? We can build some light ships. Three turns. And they cost us only three command points. So let's build a couple of these. Because that will make it much easier to siege that place because we've completely specialized these on sieging so then we can bring them that way it will take a while also to bring them all that way um, but well at the moment this one here is still busy building itself up so that will still take a while I'm inclined to colonize these and send some population over though would make things quicker Adana probably has plenty of population left, yes. So we could send either some... Yeah, maybe we should send some amoeba to Hearth. But in order for that to work, we need to have space for three amoeba, which at the moment we have. Um, but let's colonize this one just to make sure. Two turns. Maybe Aina can also send some. But they actually still... Yeah, the, hmm. No, let's not do that with this one. Alright, another nice collapsing star here. More population. Where is that army? You guys are being so slow. Oh, come on. Yeah, you can some anomaly stuff eh, except you don't have any probe so let's sleep first a new election 34 39 sounds good to me because these both are in the government i don't want to spend any money on it who will win i think it's going to be the militarists because we've been doing a fair amount of mean stuff yeah these are all going to be unhappy because they're not militarists. Alright, you found a probe. Deed consolidators of systems failed. Be the first to control at least four star systems in the same constellation. Well, we don't have that. Vojani are still happy with us, that's good. Um, let's see, what do we want to find? Um, 
Let's do this one. Adamantian, nice. Yeah, we actually have so much antimatter. I'm inclined to put it on the market to get a lot of money. Um, but of course, then other people can buy it, but it's very expensive. So maybe I should... Ooh, it's not that... Worth. It's not that much money anymore. Of course, still, if I put 50 on there, I would get 1.6k, which is nice. Come on. <laughs> I might also actually send the vine ships here because then we can have these two. That would be quite nice as well. So then our main system will just be really quite productive. Still this Kessler syndrome though. I'm inclined to do this to increase the amount of population. 7.2 is way less science though. And I guess, yeah, it's kind of a problem. I really like that this is far away from the enemy because it's safe, but it's also far away from the enemy. So I can't really like use this to create a lot of ships or anything like that. So extra production here is not necessarily the best, I think. That's why I really want to have half here as, as my hub, which will still take a while to actually do. Um, one, six, eight, one, four, 12. More science or no, this one also has food. So let's keep the people here. Um, I might buy this thing though. It's getting, otherwise it will take ages to get that thing done. Then again, it would also be a lot of money. So I'm not entirely, not, not very well decided about it yet. Yeah, this siege will still take ages. <laughs> it's quite slowly going though. Yay, we have produced enough science. We have some answers. However, as seems to be the case in these days, they only lead to more questions. We feel the heart beating more strongly, gaining force to guide us. So, or so we hope. It is only in silence and isolations that we consider the other possibility, that the more fervent beating of the heart is a sign of its weakness. Ooh. The deluge of change does not abate. The unfallen move like forest in the wind, sometimes leaning in one direction and sometimes the other. In the noise and the confusion, I think that the heart is beating louder in order to get their attention. When I try to listen to the heart to understand it as the thirds do, I think that Mafasa and Atelata may both be correct. We must sway other peoples to see things the way we see them, and perhaps reach out to them and change ourselves in doing it. I have no true conviction other than that when this is over, the Unfallen will not be who we were once were. We can convince the peoples about show other peoples the calm strength of the unfallen we can also control them prepare to impose the pacifist unity of the unfall <laughs> the pacifist unity of the unfallen on those who would rather fight than listen reach a lot of manpower we get hearts hammer a nice beam with 38 damage is it actually better than what i have uh, we've discovered the uh because we have this cool beam here, which has 35 damage, and here we can get 38. Okay, so it's a bit better. But I th I mean, we are the militarist ones, so we'll go for this anyway. Prepare to impose the pacifist uni unity on the unfallen on those who would rather fight than listen. All right, we've entwined Duzai. Let us kill these ones here. Um, turtle. I really would kind of want to. Why are the Horatio? Why are the um, Lumera still here? Is the question. Um, I have entwined this though. So what I could do is send these vine ships over, and hopefully see something, because I kind of want to send my army all the way here. But there are still unfallen somewhere. No, let's just send them here. Because probably they're going to be there somewhere. Uh, yes, perfect. People, 
and we have discovered a black hole. Nice. Ooh, here the Gnashest. Huh, so this actually extends all the way in there. Interesting. How is our shipbuilding going here? It's one turn we'll have one. Maybe we should already immediately send it that way then, once it's done. Yes. You discovered the planet Origa. Ooh, this garden planet was used as a biological laboratory by the Concrete Antlers, with myriad experiments run on both native and alien forms. A site of major conflict during the Dust Wars, the environment degraded and the surface of the planet was eventually covered in ice. While there are rumors and expeditions that claim to have uncovered miraculous ruins and the vestiges of great empires today, Origa is an icy tomb. So this is the planet actually that Endless Legend uh, plays on. It's on Centaurus. Origa, look how pretty. Outstanding. Not bad. Alright, we will look at that next time though, because we're playing for 20 minutes, so I hope you had fun, and see you next time.